you can reduce your risk of heart disease by 7%. So pretty significant. And we should limit our sodium intake. Um, sodium raises blood pressure, as Dr. Brodsky touched on earlier, and it can cause water retention, shortness of breath, and so on. So we should aim to eat less than 2,300 milligrams a day. And to put that into perspective, one teaspoon of salt is equal to 2,300 milligrams. So that would be your daily intake. And the problem is, is that we live in a world of processed foods, and processed foods are loaded with sodium. So always choose fresh, fresh, fresh whenever possible and choose fresh meats, it's Publix, and there's Whole Foods out there now that have so many products out there that are low sodium. Um, low sodium cheeses, low fat, they have a lot of low fat, low sodium uh, yogurts out there now. And use herbs and spices to kick up the flavor a little bit. I know a lot of people have salt teeth out there. You have, some people have a, a, a sweet tooth, some people have a salt tooth. And the herbs and spices and lemon and lime juice will help with that. So avoid processed foods, cured meats. A lot of your deli meats um, are loaded in sodium. And like I said, we do have some low sodium choices out there now. Uh, your nuts and snacks and salt, salted products. Uh, some people don't realize that a lot of marinades and spices are loaded as well. Your condiments. Uh, I know uh, ketchup has a lot of sodium in it. And even baking soda in some of the baked goods. So. We should maintain a healthy weight and waist. Um, uh, there's research out there that shows that a 5% weight loss can significantly reduce the risk of heart disease. And weight loss also lowers blood pressure. Uh, you know, keep a waist size under 40 for men and under 35 for women. Um, limit portion sizes. There's a website out there by the FDA, and it's called mypyramid.gov, and that looks like a, yeah, you know, it's spelled it. Um, that actually you can go to this website, put in your age and your gender, and it can give you your calorie needs, and it can give you suggestions on how much to eat from each food group, which is a wonderful thing, and it's free. So when do we get anything free from the government, right? Um, <laughs> and we could limit our sweets, our sugary foods, some of those desserts that uh, Dr. Brodsky touched on early, the colors, the browns, and <laughs> um, because these do lower triglycerides which is another factor of heart disease. And stay active at least 30 minutes a day. So here are some things we can look at on the nutrition facts panels that are on, on some of the processed foods, if that's what you choose. We can limit a lot of the foods that are in the green, and that would be our saturated fats, our trans fats, cholesterol, and sodium. And, and try to get more of the nutrients that are in the blue, and that would be fiber, in a lot of your vitamins and minerals, which would come naturally with healthier uh, foods. And then there's a little reference there in the purple, which is a quick guide to your percent daily value, values. So as I said before, keeping your saturated fats under 10%, you can see the percentage there, which would help you out. So incentives for heart health. Well, trim excess weight, reduce alcohol, be smoke-free, be more active, and eat healthy.